welcome to Workout with Robin. It's really small to see, but friends at my day job, colleagues, my good friends, Nico was one of them who's been in my other videos. They made me this uh, Yeti water bottle and it's got the logo uh, etched into it. It's really cool. Uh, so this is my water bottle today. It's off screen, but very excited about it and I'd be very interested to know interested to know if um, any of you would like to work out with Robin water bottle or merchandise because that would be very exciting to me as my channel starts growing more and more. Uh, it's picking up, which is very heartwarming and brings me joy. If I can spread some love that it's tangible, you can hold on to and be reminded of my channel, then why not? Let's do that. But this is so special. Anyways, I'm going to start the timer to keep my uh, ramblings to a minimum. Welcome to Upper Body Day. Very exciting because today I've released two upper body videos. So we're going to go a little more deeper dive into strength training. So this video is chest and shoulders. I've got heavy and medium weights available to me. These three sets of dumbbells, okay? I've got 25s, 20s, 15s. Whatever medium and heavy means to you will work just fine, all right? I am using an inclined bench for our first exercise and then never again. So if you have a bench, set it up like so, get yourself ready. Otherwise, we'll be using the floor. Additionally, very special today, it's at the end of our strength training, I am adding in some pelvic floor training. Let me talk to you some more about pelvic floor training. Let's get warmed up. Okay, you can reach across and up. Do some arm circles. Pelvic floor training. <laughs> Pardon me. Kind of the opposite to Kegels. You know, ladies, Kegels and your everything in this area, tighten it and release it and tighten it to help with some incontinence. <laughs> Pelvic floor training, kind of same, but kind of opposite. Okay, we're working on some looseness. If you have any low back pain, some hip tightness, that kind of flexibility work. This, these movements, they're very small, but we're adding them into the workout. They're going to be great for us. You know how I always preach, don't pop your booty out during the workout. Proper form, pelvic tilt in. Pelvic tilt, pelvic floor. Ah, see the connection? Tailbone brought into your belly button. That flat pancake butt, I call it. That's where it's at. So we're gonna be training with that form in mind. Okay, follow. Push and pull the air. Scoop it, switch your arms, open the chest. And when you're ready, shoulder work, up and down. Snap, snap. First superset, 45 seconds each. We have an incline chest press, so in seated position. We'll be pressing from the chest up to the sky, all the way down. Pairing that with push ups. Yes, please. We're gonna do in one interval one wide, one neutral, one narrow, and repeat. Okay, all at high level. Three sets. We'll move on to some floor work. We'll floor press. So, some more chest press, just different angle, fighting gravity gravity different and keeping tension on to really burn the muscles, strengthen them. And we'll pair that with the shoulder press. Okay, so that's where the bit lighter weight comes in for the shoulder press, heavier for the chest. And then we'll finish it with some pec flies and presses before we move on to pelvic floor training. Let's reach, toe reach. Cross, down. If you need I'm gonna go up high too. If you need some wrist mobility, let's pull the fingers towards both hands. Rotate. We got chicken wings. We will just wanna feel loosey goosey, really powerful, strong today. <laughs> Keep doing what works for you. Incline, if you got a similar chair to me, I am one, two, three, flo floor, four clicks up. Every chair is different though. It might be two, it might be whatever. Just an incline where I'm not straight up. I'm in the middle sweet spot for the press. It works both the chest and the shoulders. I'm picking the 20 pounds for myself. So in between all of those weights, the middle weight. Sitting down, I want you to relax. Head is back. We're not chin to chest. We're not shrugging, okay? Power here, 
chests from the chest. So load it up. Join me because we're getting started. Here we go. Press up and then straight back down to the chest. Up. We don't need to clack the weights. I see a lot of you do that. No need. It's not beneficial to anything. Up through the chest and shoulders all the way. Then back down. Don't cheat your range of motion. We are on our way with this workout. Ten seconds. And time. Wonderful. Weight safely down. Get a space on the floor. Pelvic tilt in your plank. Toes or knees. Push-ups. Wide, neutral, narrow, repeat. Okay, set it up. Wide grip the ground. Pelvic tilt. Wide. Walk in the hands. Neutral. Woo, no worming. Narrow. So hands at 11. Elbows behind you. Okay, we're not, we're not posing on the beach here. <laughs> Strong plank, up and down. Back to wide. Quality over quantity. Walk it in. Push the floor away. Walk it in again. Triceps on fire, it's not even arm day. It's chest and shoulders, where it's at. Excellent. So time. Pardon me. First set's done, on to set two, just like that. We felt it out. We might have been a little, uh-oh, I gotta do this two more times. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it great. Back to our incline chest press. Focus on slow instead. Chest level, so we're not beside our face. We're here. Lean back all the way and you're gonna be like, oh, am I gonna be able to get back up when I come all the way down? Yes, adjust your weight if you need to. But yes, don't cheat yourself ever. Let's grab those weights, sit in our chair. Flat feet, okay? If you can't reach the floor from your bench, stack a block, get a barbell plate underneath. You want flat foot, heel for sure is grounded, okay? Set two. From the chest. You know it's not the same as it was. Use your breath to your advantage to push up. Exhale out through the mouth. Good. You know it's not the same as it was. How are we? We're halfway. Quality as always over quantity. If you have to bail on the weights, drop them to the side. Don't let them conk on you. Be safe about it. Time. Weights can be set down, back to the floor. Wide, neutral, narrow push-ups. And then we won't do push-ups again after two more sets. Promise. Tuck that butt, tuck the pelvis. Wide. Feel that protraction, retraction in the shoulder blades. With these push-ups, yes. You got it. And can I show you, we're not like, we're not here. Don't arc your back. Straighten out. Start in tabletop if you have to. Lean forward. Straight arms, push up, yes. So I'm not here, Ooh, yeah. Time again, okay. Two sets in, not too shabby. We have one more to go. Final of each. 
hide as best I can. I keep coughing. I'm always so dry from hacking along. <laughs> no inhaler today. Bad decision. Um, final set, and then we're moving on to the floor part. So once this is all over, I'll move the chair out of the way. We'll focus on floor and flat back. Okay. The last time on the incline and last push-ups. That's a guarantee. Let's mosey on over. Do you still feel good with your weights decision? Change it now if you need. Get in the zone. Each rep is going to be perfect. Yes, promise. Yes, good. Lie down, load it up right at the pecs. Kiss those pecs with the weights. Push up. Your wrists are neutral, they're flush with your arms. They're not bending any weird which way. Your movement is just straight up and down. Halfway. Excellent. Couple more good ones. Ooh. Last in, last breath. Oh. <laughs> okay. Weights down. On to the floor. Final push ups. It's, it's feeling rough, but we're getting them out of the way. The big movements out of the way first. Using the most amount of energy we have at the beginning of the workout for the most challenging big lifts. Wide, neutral, narrow, over and over. Stay focused. I say a lot, no worming, so it's plank, but also no hen pecking. When you start focusing on keeping this straight, your neck might want to beat you to the floor, right? Don't do that. Relax it. Ugh. Rockin', time. Enzo, tighten the pony. Moving the chair out of the way, we're going floor. So flat back, chest press. I'm gonna try to lift a little heavier. Now, with the flat back chest press, you don't end up getting that full range of motion I always rave about. I'm going heavier because I feel I can. I'm also safer, closer to the floor. But we're keeping tension, pretend I'm laying down. We're pressing and then stopping. That tension all in here, still active the whole interval. That's gonna be good after we've already warmed up with those big lifts. Working the chest even more. We're gonna pair that with the shoulder press, remember? So we'll stand up, switch the weights, and do one at a time, ISO hold, okay? Let's lie down. Be flush with the floor. Push your belly button down. Oh, Weights in hand. Again, straight line. We don't need to smack them at the top. That 90 degrees, see how my pecs are still active. I'm not resting. It's challenging. Oh. Keep in mind too, you don't want the dumbbells above your face, above your pecs. That straight line up and down, okay? From starting position, straight up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Slow and steady. I'm a little shaky, one more. Time! Okay. We're gonna stand up. Pelvic tilt. So, ooh, yeah, we're not here. Don't put the pressure on your low spine. Boom. Load the shoulders. Bring a one at a time. So we still have tension. Making the most out of this. Holding it. Driving it up. Good. Breathe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm always so coffee. I'm so sorry. 
just part of my life now where my, my airways are tight. I'm doing my best to alleviate it, to rectify. It's not easy. Time. Muscles are tight. Let's get some big shoulder rolls. Give me the air. <laughs> Go forward. I'm getting some elbows involved. And back. One arm at a time. Kind of cranking that rotator cuff in a good way. We're going to go back to the floor. Set to floor press. Do you think you could lift heavier? Do you have heavier weights? Grab them now. 45 seconds. What's, what's the worst that could happen? They just fall to the floor or you end up realizing you're stronger than you think. Still on? Yes. My motivational speaking microphone pack, still good. <laughs> Let's lie down. Weights in hand at pec level. Press them up. Yep. Slow and controlled. Don't hold your breath. If you would like though, you can go suitcase style. Legs up, bent at 90. Drive that low back into the floor. But now you might notice your core is super active. Might as well. You have it in you. Woo. 10 seconds. One more. Awesome. Switching it out to that standing position. Up, up, up. Change your weights. Load your shoulders. Don't trip. One at a time. Pelvic tilt. Up. All the way down. Keep going. I'm just going to talk at you for a second. You might see some people at the gym who are doing shoulder press from here and stop at 90. It's kind of similar to what we're doing on the floor with the floor press, but they're cheating the range of motion. Don't do that as a very first exercise, okay? Do the proper lift. If you're going to stop at 90, you are adding that tension, pulsing the muscle. Sure, it's effective in different ways, but it's not your proper shoulder press. You can come all the way down here and press. That is your press the entire time. Why cheat it? Yeah? Make sense? I talked through that whole thing. <laughs> I'll make up for it off camera, I promise. Get my hair dust bunnies out of the way. One more set of floor press on the floor through the chest. We have it in us. Got it, we're gonna do it well. I am. Yeah. Let's get some more circle. I'm still like collecting the air in front of me, scooping it back. Good vibes. Setting them my way. I'll give them back to you. Loosey goosey. One more time backwards. Let's lay back down. Decide if you're gonna ground your feet or go suitcase with that 90 degree bend. Weights in hand. Whew. Pack level, straighten those wrists out, don't bend them. Ready, set, let's do it. Press up. I always say slow and steady, but let's try not to linger at the top or the bottom, okay? Speed doesn't change, go to the top, Start coming down, press up again. Keep the weights above your pec, not above your face. Ooh, 10 seconds. <sighs> and that is time. No more of that. For final shoulder press, coming in hot. Push out your weights. Stand up. 
neutral position. Load the shoulders, just showing you for visual that I'm not popping the booty. Keep it slow, keep it controlled. Don't cheat. Coming to check you out. Also my nurse, I have some new, new, new ink going on. Story for another time, but it is fresh. Not super fresh where I shouldn't be working out. But uh, it's pretty recent. <laughs> wasn't in the last video, was it? <laughs> Here we go, last rep. Time. Okay, our final weighted movement of the upper body program today. Flat back. We're going to go, I'm just showing you here. A little pec fly. Then you marry the weights and then neutral press. So neutral is palms face each other. We'll glue the weights together. Press from the chest. Fly out that hug a tree. Our elbows are always bent. Remember, we're not clacking them. Control it. Marry them. So that rotation, you know I love changing directions with exercises. Good for our brain, good for our muscles. Well-rounded workout. Right? <laughs> So we'll lie down, try it out. I'm using the same lighter, medium weight. We'll fly and then press. Okay, so the pec flies. You feel the pull in your armpit. Press through chest and shoulders and arms. Let's go for it. Fly, marry them together. Press through the chest, good job. It was just full of new stuff. New water bottle, new moves, two video release, and a new tattoo. Not too shabby. New music. One more. And release. Okay, we're not pairing this with anything. Since it's a super comboed movement, we're keeping it by itself. This is our rest. We're gonna do four sets instead of three though, okay? Yes, you're just gonna do it anyways. How'd that feel? Could you feel the, the pushing through the shoulders? Is your chest like, holy crap, what's happening today? I bet. Let's just get back to business before you decide you don't wanna do anymore. Load it up. Soft bend in the elbows, extend out, feel the pull in your armpits, back up, lower to the chest, press up through the chest, and repeat. Go to the side, hug a tree, press it up. You are doing fantastic. Ten seconds. Time. <laughs> two more sets. Not too shabby. After the two sets, we will do some review of the pelvic floor movements. You don't need anything maybe a mat for it to be soft on your knees. Otherwise, it's gonna be very slow and nice cool down to our workout, okay? Back down we go though, still working chest and shoulders. It's not over. Pec fly, chest press. Don't change your wrists. We've been so good so far. Don't mess it up now. Super strong. Couple more. 
Oh my goodness. We have one more. One more? Can't see without my glasses. Yes. <laughs> one more interval for interval number four, or set number four of this movie. Let's do exaggerated shoulder rolls. We got one more. It's very heated. Right here. That's exactly what we want. Good stuff. Back down we go. La 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 to the floor. Set up the weights. Hug a tree. Let's go. Extend out. Our final time with weights today. Let's do our very best. For weights that aren't like super, super heavy. Feeling heavy now. Keep it up. <laughs> 10 seconds. We can do it. Ooh. And time. Wonderful. Okay, I've given us a little bit extra time. Can't do something. Do what feels right. Reminder though for what's coming up, our pelvic floor exercises. Oops, pancake butt. <laughs> that is your cue as always, so we're not here. That might be a comfort zone area. Let's snip it. Boop. Tailbone to belly button. Forces your core to be active. Clench your butt. Then your squat from your neck to your bum, okay? We're gonna start on our hands and knees. Meet me down here on the floor. Tabletop. Give yourself enough room. Wide grip the ground. And when the intervals start going, they're gonna be back to back 30 seconds. So they'll just when the timer dings, I'll cue you what we're doing next. But the first four moves are here. Cat cow, bird dog, and then a little lean back into child's pose and then pop back up to tabletop. You with me? So if this is your starting position, so we're not here. We'll be here in cat cow, but that's not starting. Pelvic tilt. Tabletop, so you could rest that fancy water bottle you have on the back and it's not going to fall. Wide grip, so the weight is evenly distributed but mainly focused on your index and thumb and in the, the meat of your hand, okay? Legs bent at 90, arms straight. Now we'll pop the booty. Push the shoulders back. Cat cow. Then we round out, push the floor away, chin to chest. Back and forth at your own pace. Curl it in. Push it out with the neck. Okay, how are we feeling? This should be familiar territory. Bird dogs next. So, opposite leg, opposite arm, knee to elbow. We'll keep one interval the same side. So it's balance here, core, as well as working that pelvic floor. Did you know that? Straight line, check me out fingertip to toe, crunching it in and out. We'll switch sides when the timer dings. Here we go, back to tabletop, switch legs. Crunch it in the center, so do feel that in your abs, okay? Extend long, crunch in small. Bird dog. Wonderful. Come back to tabletop. We're gonna sink back, child's pose. Feel the stretch. Pop back up to tabletop. Back down. It's that rotation in the hips. Our arms are active, so we're still working up our body. We're still crunching the core. But everything in the hips is opening up. Time, we're going back down to cat cow when you're ready. Flex it, curl it in. Make sure you're getting what you need. 
out of these movements. We will do different core kegel pelvic floor movements in the other upper body video. Time, back to tabletop. Bird dog, pick a side. Knee to elbow, extend long. How are we? Don't hold the breath, huh? You forget about it? One more. Back to tabletop and switch sides. Really round out, just like we did in cat cow. Keep your balance. Extend out. Core's heating up. Keep at it. One more. Back to tabletop. Child's pose. Stretch. And up. How does this feel for you? Is it easy? Does the stretch feel good? Are your hips hurting? Or are you okay? If you're feeling a little stiff, these movements, let's add them more into your daily repertoire, okay? One more time, tabletop, cat cow, flex it out. Push the floor away, scoop it in. Such simple movements we all are aware of, but just don't do them when they're gonna be so good for us. Tabletop, bird dog. A little shaky for me so if you're finding that we're not alone almost there five seconds and reset switch sides you're doing terrific going so if you notice if you are able to check yourself out and you're here reset back up with the moves tabletop child's pose stretch pop up and back Four different moves coming up. This isn't it. Time, okay. Flip the pony. <laughs> We're gonna lay on our backs and the opposite of bird dog is dead bug. So we'll be on our backs. And that opposite arm, opposite leg extension, same, same. Just on our back. <gasps> Flat back, okay? I will, uh, I'll walk us through the next moves. We're here, 90 suitcase style. Arms up, opposite. So you'd be like this on the floor for bird dog. Sometimes it's a bit of a, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Opposite. Good core crunching. Good hip movement, keeping it loose. Drive the low back into the floor. Remember what I said about this improving low back pain? Here it is. Time, we're gonna ground our feet. We can lose the arms or keep them up. Thrust, but then we're gonna squeeze the knees together. Release, neutral. Let me show you unladylike. 
thrust, knees, release, reset. Thrust, knees, release, reset. Keep at it. Knees. Squeeze those thighs together. Time. We're gonna roll over, face me. It's not a yoga class, but we are gonna do sphinx pose. Okay, stretch it up. Try to lift your hips off the floor, the bones aren't touching. Back bend. Arms are, my arms are shaking. That's good. Top of the hips working right now. Child's pose will just hold it. Sink back, so if you can match big toe to big toe, knees outward, arms stretching overhead. This probably feels so nice. This move is great for digestion. It's good for your hips, it stretches your upper body, among another um, other million things. Quick, 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 onto our backs, round two. Dead bug. <laughs> We're gonna do three sets of this. So we end on child's pose. I'm not stand in the workout. Glue your feet down. Thrust, knees together, release. You can keep the arms overhead if you would like. Reset, thrust, squeeze the thighs. Where's the thigh master? When you need it. Susan Summers should bring him back. She was on to something, obviously. <laughs> Roll over. Ooh. Push the floor away, hips up. Okay, so it's just your quads on the ground. Same with the palms of the hand. Gaze up. Sphinx pose. Ten seconds, and then we'll go into child's pose. Finishing round two of three. Sink back the weight. Yes. Can you reach your forehead to the floor? Are you still working on flexibility to get there? Let's walk our fingertips out forward even more, stretching through the shoulders and back. All right, onto our backs, final dead bug. Oop. Switch it out, don't waste time. Set it up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Breathe. Choose your speed here. Heels down. Hip thrust, knees together, release. Hips all the way up, squeeze. How is this feeling? Is it foreign to you or? Roll over under your thumbs. Push up, back bend. Sphinx pose, final time. Try to lift. Let's try not to shrug, okay? Crown posture. Confidence is key. 10 more seconds. Five, four. Child's pose to finish it all. Think back. Oh, thank you for joining me today. What a good day. Feeling strong? Hope you tune in to the other upper body workout 
back and arms. Today it was all about pushing. Uh, the other workout is pull. And that's time. Women pull. Up we go. To your feet, roll up slow. Pat yourself on the back. Applause to you. Like I said, I'm so grateful. Hope to see you next time. Enjoy your day. Bye.